I recently made a video on my personal channel on building the perfect valve fang radio. It was a fun video and we took a BFF 8HP and we put a bunch of accessories on it and we made what I would call the perfect basic uh, valve fang radio. But I want to make a video to go a little more in depth on that for someone who's building their radio kit out right now. So if you're right now considering getting a radio, building out your kit, or just adding on upgrades to your radio, this video is going to help you do that with specifically the BFF 8HP. We're going to use the comms builder, which is a tool on defensedistributors.com that uh, lets you build out your radio kit a lot easier. So there's a bunch of steps in here and it goes through all the steps you need to take your radio, add on accessories in order to make your radio more capable. So we're gonna go through that step by step. The first thing we do in the comms builder when you enter it, and you can enter it by going to defensetributors.com, link in the description, is you're gonna see a list of radios which you can choose from. So in building the perfect bow thing, there are a couple different radio options we can choose from. The basic being the UV5R. We have the UV5RM, which is the UV5R with a bigger screen and some additional features. We have the bff hp which is a more ruggedized version, a better battery, uh, just a better radio in general and more powerful. We have the BTEC UV Pro. This is the premium of what we offer right now. It is a way upgraded version of these traditional radios, whole ton of features like Bluetooth, GPS, all that kind of stuff. And then we have the Baofeng AR152, which is a very large Baofeng radio, more powerful, way better battery life, and a little more ruggedized. So out of all of these options, there's only four Baofengs on the list right here. And of them, I believe that the best radio for the purposes of building out the Baofeng radio as the perfect radio is going to be the BFF8HP. The reason being this is uh, a very powerful radio, but you're not gonna have the additional size as something like the AR152 has or the UV5RM. And I wanted to keep it within those parameters. Plus this has a lot more accessory availability than things like the UV5RM while still keeping it in a smaller size frame which I like personally. I don't like having the larger radio when I don't necessarily need it. That's user preference though, so you can totally swap for one of those. So we're gonna start off with the base BFF8HP. Check that box right there. And there's an option here for programming, so if you don't wanna do the programming on your own, you can select the uh, DefDisc 62 channels where we put on a, a basic 62 channel set we think is essential. So that's your FRS, your GMRS, your MERS, and your NOAAs, a couple more frequencies, but what we think your radio should have right out of the box, we will put that on that radio for you. So you're gonna get now your base, bow thing, BF F8HP comes in a box like this. And the cool thing about the F8HP is that it also comes out of the box with a extended battery. This looks a little bit different than most extended batteries on the market because it's not extended downward, it's extended through the back, which uh, makes it a little bit fatter but it is a more powerful battery than the original UV5R battery. So that's cool to have out of the box. We're gonna swap it out anyways, but there are two accessories I have on this radio already. You probably noticed them already. Well, one of them, the PTT guard, the volume knob's a little smaller. We're gonna go over those later since those are further in the steps. I just didn't wanna take them off. So now that we've selected our radio, we can move on to the next step. There's two ways to do that. We can just click on the next step down here, or there's a big blue button that says continue to step two. So that's what we're gonna do. Click on that and that'll open the next step, which is antennas. There's a lot of different antennas we can choose for this radio. As you can see, we have a lot of different antenna options. It might get confusing here to explain it. The BTEC BF F8HP comes with a stock antenna. This antenna works for the radio. If we wanna optimize that, we should probably get a better antenna. These antennas uh, aren't the best. They'll work, you'll be able to talk to people. But uh, if we really wanna maximize the potential of the radio, we're gonna to wanna to swap that antenna. Now there's a lot of antennas on the top here that will work just fine that screw directly in, so I can just replace this antenna, uses the same connector. And that's a really easy way to just get a better antenna, or if we want a more covert antenna, we can get that. We're gonna go a slightly different route with this direction because of the parameters of the perfect bow thing. For the video I made on this on my personal channel, I wanted a radio that would be able to fit into my plate carrier that I could swap in and out. And because of that, the screw on connector really wasn't optimal because every time I wanna take it out, I have to screw on and screw off that connector. Just not something I really wanna do every single time. I'd like a quick disconnect, which we offer. So we're gonna scroll down here in the antenna section and we're gonna check the SMA female to BNC female adapter, which I have right here. There are two adapters there. This is the first one, this is the second one. We're gonna select the first one uh, because the first one connects to this radio directly. So this SMA female adapter, we can unscrew the antenna on our radio and we can then screw this adapter in. And now we have an adapter on the radio 
Note, this is not an antenna. Do not try transmitting when this is the only thing plugged into your radio. It's going to mess up your radio. It can break it. That's not good. But what this adapter allows us to do is to use BNC connector types, which is very important for swapping into a plate carrier because now we get to use quick disconnects. As an example of that, I have this giant whip antenna connected to an antenna extender connected to another BNC adapter. So imagine I have this antenna in my plate carrier. In order to put the radio in, all I have to do is pop this on, turn, and it's locked in just like that. And that's the the really cool part about using quick disconnect adapters is we can do quick swaps like that, which is essential if you're putting this into your plate carrier or your kit or your chest rig, anything like that, and you want your antenna in a different location. So, and I wanted that. So this is how we are going to do that. So now we have that adapter, but since we're not always running it in a plate carrier and I wanted to build a standalone bow thing, we do actually need an antenna. Currently, we only have one antenna that really works well for this application that uses that BNC connector. And that's the ZBM2 Fallweather Whip antenna, which is an excellent antenna by itself. I've got it folded up right here. I store them this way. It'll just unfold and work perfectly. Uh, so that's pretty easy. And it quick disconnects on right there, push down, turn, and we're connected just like that. It is that easy. So that's why I like them so much. And it's also an incredible antenna. So right above this is the ZBM2 Fallweather. We're gonna click that box. And that is all we need for the antenna section. Now you certainly can get more. I was just building a standalone radio. So for this radio setup, maybe if I don't wanna go the quick disconnect route, I could get any of these antennas. There are covert options as well. If that's something you're looking for for your use case. And down here, if I wanted to build this system, I would also need to get the antenna extender down here. I'd need to get the inverse of this BNC connector, which will convert it back into this SMA type, and I will need to get the giant whip antenna. If that was at all confusing, no worries. I will be doing another video on specifically relocated setups, so we will have videos on that in the future. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if that was confusing. So let's move on now. That's all the antennas we need for this radio. Every step of this process as well, the radio right now in this state is usable. So if you don't need anything more, this will get the trick done and you can skip the rest. All the, the accessories on this list are all optional, but let's keep going. So we're gonna go now to step three, which is batteries. Now the really cool thing about the builder is that there are compatibility features built into it. You can see right here, there's this grayed out option here that I can't select. And it's because that battery is for a different radio than this one. So it won't even let you uh, add that to cart, which is great. That means we don't have to email customers now saying, hey, you've selected an incompatible option. And so that'll prevent you from getting an incompatible option. But let's go up here to the top. We have a stock antenna for this radio that works, or a stock battery that works just fine. If you wanna leave it like this, you can. This, this battery is actually a great battery. But specifically for this application, I wanted an even larger battery capacity and mainly I wanted a USB-C charging feature which this battery does not have. Some of the newer bow things do have a USB port uh, for USB-C charging built into the radio or into the battery. This one doesn't. So I'm going to select the USB-C rechargeable battery. There's three batteries that work with this one. Stock batteries. So if you want extra stock batteries laying around, you can get some of those. USB-C batteries and extended UV5R batteries. Those aren't the USB-C battery. Obviously I want the USB-C. I just think that's a better option all around. Within the USB-C, there are two options, standard and extended. If I wanted to keep the small form factor of this radio, I could get the small version. However, I like the feel of it more with the extended battery in. It's not as big as the Air 152 or the UV5RM, but it is still quite capable within that. So we are going to connect that to the radio. Good to go. And now we have USB-C features for charging. So. We're gonna select the extended option, click the checkbox, and move on now to step four, which is headsets and mics. I didn't have any headsets or mics in my perfect bathing video. We were really just focusing on the radio itself. If you do want headsets and mics, there's a variety of options that'll work for that. The BFFHP uses the KE1 plug. That's the same as your UV5R, and we do most of our accessories with that plug type because it's pretty standard across these types of radios. So it's a whole ton of options here and I'm not gonna go over it. Again, that's for another video. Something you may want specifically with this is if you're using it in a tactical environment and you have a headset, you might want to get the multi-mount mic. If you're intending to have this sitting on your kit and you just want a relocated speaker mic, we have a couple speaker mic options. There's a cheaper shoulder mic here and there is a more premium comm mountain speaker mic here. There's a uh, earpieces, all of these things. We're gonna skip over that because well, it's not really essential for what we're doing, but if your, use, if your use case requires a headset or a mic or any sort of an earpiece, 
that's where you would find them. So we're gonna skip over that step. We're gonna go to step number five, which is add on accessories. We're getting pretty close to the end here of what we need for this radio. There's two things I have already on here. One being the PTT guard, which is our first option. The PTT guard just prevents these buttons on the side from being pressed accidentally. So if I run into them with my kit, it's not gonna accidentally press them. And considering part of my use case for this radio was having it inside of a pouch on a plate carrier, I really need to make sure those buttons aren't accidentally being pressed since that's really common with how these baffing radios are designed. And there's, there's no real way around that. And the slimmest way to do that or to uh, solve this problem is to get a PPTT guard. So step number, uh, step number one here, we're gonna click that checkbox and we're gonna select the radio type for UV5R plus or BFFHB. It's important you get the right one. They're not compatible. They are different housing types. So we're going to select that one right there and we're going to move on uh, cases, we don't currently have a case at the time of this video that works with this radio. Otherwise, I would have considered that, but we don't have an option right now. We're going to add on the volume knob ring. That is a little ring that we put around the volume knob, which prevents it from accidentally being bumped. This knob is really easy to turn, so you could turn it too high or too low super easily. That's not something we want because it's very often that you'll find your radio has been turned all the way off or all the way too high without you even knowing because that knob is so easy to turn. So a little inexpensive accessory that will help with that a lot. And there's a couple other accessories here that we could add on to, I just didn't. There are K1 bands in case you have a loose connection or wanna make sure that stays in. There are reinforced metal belt clips if you don't like the belt clip that came with the radio. I don't like that belt clip, but I don't usually use a belt clip. So I don't have that on very many of my radios. Again, if your use case dictates you putting your radio on your belt, that's probably a pretty good option. We have uh, APRS cables, we have programming cables. So if you wanna program it yourself, you get a programming cable. That's all we're really gonna add right now for the accessories on this radio. So we get to move on to step six, which is the final step, and that is education. So there's a couple different options we have for education specifically. There are uh, comps cards from Ready Radio. These are a great accessory, which really just feature the internal features of the radio and how to use it from a base level. So this isn't getting into any sort of crazy stuff. It's just information that's really good to have on hand so you can better use your radio and stuff that's pretty easy to forget, like frequency lists, how to do this, uh, all, all these kinds of features and a button guide, which is very helpful. So currently, I don't have the bff 8 hp card on the site. By the time this video is released, that will have changed. So if you want that, select the bff 8 hp option here. The UV5R option is also very comparable, but there's a DOD radio operator handbook. This is a military handbook of all different radio uh, workings, how to use the radio. This is a little more high level, but if you're looking to learn how to use your radio like the military does, some of the stuff in that book will be really applicable. Some of it won't be. It's just what you get with military manuals, but that is an option as well. And we also have combat cards, which is something we make, and we have a pack here for signals and code. The signals and code pack features your Morse code, your ABCs for LEO and NATO, a variety of things like that, which are useful for radio comms because very typically these types of code are used while using radio. So that's all the education ses uh, section. If you want any of those features, you can select those boxes. And now we're done with the actual kit setup. So once we have all of this done, you're gonna have a kit summary down below, which shows you what you have. And if you wanted to go back at any point and remove stuff or add stuff, you can. Now that we're done here, we are going to review and add to cart. Button right here, add to cart. It's gonna take a sec, it's going to work through all those and add them to the cart. And in just a second, we should see all of those products added into the cart. And that's how I think you should build the perfect Baofeng radio kit using specifically the BF F8HP. So if you guys have any questions regarding that, parts you wanna inquire about, just questions about radios like this and setups like this, leave them in the comments. I will be sure to look through those and see what I can answer. And we might even do some more videos specifically on your questions. So if you wanna access this tool, this is at defensedistributors.com. Link in the bio.